नमस्कार वेलकम टू वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ इंडिया मैट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेयर वी विल सी द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक एंड व्हाट इज द वेदर फोरकास्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स सो दीज आर द मेन चीप सनोप्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ द लास्ट वीक व्हिच प्रिवेल्ड ओवर द कंट्री इन द लास्ट वीक द मानसून ट्रफ वाज मेनली टू द साउथ ऑफ इट्स नॉर्मल पोजीशन Uh, mainly up to the 18th of july and since the 19th of july it slightly shifted northward and reaching its normal position and in the last week a low pressure area also formed over the northwest and adjoining odisha and west bengal coast on 15th of july which moved uh, west northwest west direction towards the interior odisha and chatisgarh area till 18th of july and after that it became less marked and in the last week in another low pressure area which formed over the northeast arabian sea on 15th of july and which further intensified into a depression over the northeast and adjoining saurashtra coast and which moved nearly westwards and became less marked on 18th of july morning and in the last week an upsurge trough also uh, lies over the Uh, along the west coast which basically runs from the gujarat coast to the north kerala coast on 15th of july 17th july 19th and 20th of july and in the south peninsular india a north south trough also uh, trough was also there during 20th and 21st of july and in the last week an shear zone roughly around 20 degree north prevailed over the northern parts of the peninsular india due, uh, mainly on the 19th and 20th of july this is the observed weather during uh, past weeks so here uh, the basically the red colored dots represents the very heavy rainfall so as we can see uh, in the previous week the very heavy rainfall was observed all along the west coast over the parts of east rajasthan gujarat state parts of the madhya pradesh vidarbha northern parts of telangana chatisgarh odisha and in the north west india very heavy rainfall was also observed over the himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana and in the north east india very heavy rainfall was observed over the assam meghalaya and sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and heavy rainfall was observed over the west rajasthan gujarat state uh, ghat area of madhya maharashtra south hindri karnataka north hindri karnataka bihar and adjoining areas and in the previous week isolated extremely heavy rainfall was also observed over the gujarat region ghat area madhya maharashtra and tamil nadu on 15th and 16th of july over the west rajasthan saurashtra and kutch konkan and south hindri karnataka on 15th and over odisha and coastal karnataka on 17th of july these are the highest rainfall observed during the previous week so on 15th of july maximum 35 cm rainfall was observed over the konkan on 16th july maximum 23 cm rainfall was observed over the madhya maharashtra and 19 cm rainfall was observed over the gujarat region on 17th of july highest 24 cm rainfall was observed over odisha on 18th of july highest uh, rain uh, basically 19 cm rainfall was observed over the west madhya pradesh on 19th of july maximum 20 cm rainfall was observed over the east rajasthan on 20th july highest 16 cm rainfall was observed over uttarakhand and on 21st of july highest 20 cm rainfall was observed over the east madhya pradesh this is the observed rainfall distribution uh, during the past week and also the during the this monsoon season so in the left hand side figure this is the observed rainfall distribution over the country during the past week so as we can see the rainfall was uh, de deficient over the uh, uttar pradesh uttarakhand bihar jharkhand west bengal sikkim and assam and meghalaya and rural sima region however rainfall was normal to ever normal over remaining parts of the country and in the previous week out of total 36 met subdivisions seven subdivision uh, were basically large excess 10 subdivision reported the excess rainfall eight subdivision reported the normal rainfall six subdivision reported the deficient rainfall and five subdivision reported the large deficient rainfall during 14th of july to 20th of july and in the previous week uh, country as a whole received 73.5 mm rainfall against the 66.4 mm rainfall which is 11% higher rainfall 
and if you look into the or uh, observed rainfall distribution during the entire monsoon season that is from the 1st of june till 20th of july so which is given in the right hand side picture so as we can see the monsoon rainfall was deficient over the uttar pradesh bihar uh, jharkhand west bengal and nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura however rainfall was normal to above normal over remaining parts of the country and in entire season till 20th of july out of 36 subdivisions four subdivision basically reported the large excess rainfall 11 subdivisions reported excess rainfall 15 subdivision reported the normal rainfall and six subdivision reported the deficient to large deficient rainfall and uh, during the entire season country as a whole received 380 mm rainfall against the 342 mm rainfall which is again 11% higher rainfall this is the cyclonono genesis cyclonono genesis probability over the indian ocean so as we can see there is uh, no cyclonono genesis is likely over the bay of bengal and arabian sea during the next two weeks if we look into the weather forecast for the week 1 that is from 22nd to 28th of july so in the week 1 there will be the moderate to heavy rainfall is very likely over parts of plains of northwest india parts of east india and parts of northeast india there will be moderate rainfall activity over remaining parts of the east india and along the west coast and light to moderate rainfall activity likely over remaining parts of the country if you look into the rainfall amount wise so the rainfall activity will be above normal over rajasthan south punjab southern parts of haryana south uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand west bengal Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and Tripura during week one, and rainfall activity will be below normal along the west coast, western Himalayan region, parts of Maharashtra, South Chhattisgarh, Telangana, and northern parts of Odisha. And in the remaining parts of of the country, the rainfall activity will be normal in the week one. This is the weather warning uh, for the next five days. This is the impact based weather warning. So as we can see. we have given the orange color warning for the jammu and kashmir for the next two days because of the very heavy rainfall we have given the orange color warning for the himachal pradesh punjab and haryana on for 21st of july because of the very heavy rainfall over the region and orange color warning is also given for the rajasthan for the next three days because of the very heavy rainfall over the area and very heavy rainfall is also likely over the gujarat state on 23rd and 24th of july so uh, orange color warning is given and very heavy rainfall over the odisha also during 22nd to 24th of july so orange color warning is also given for the odisha for the 22nd 23rd and 24th of july and in in the north east india have to very heavy rainfall activity will continue during next 5 days this is the rainfall uh, forecast for the week 1 and week 2 so in the left hand side picture we can see Uh, in the uh, that there will be the moderate to heavy spell over the parts of east india uh, north east india and parts of the north plains of north west india and there also will be the moderate uh, moderate rainfall activity along the west coast and light to moderate rainfall activity over the remaining parts of the country and very uh, very light to light rainfall over the northern parts of uh, gujarat state and uh, south west rajasthan and uh, the hot areas of the south maharashtra maharashtra region in the week 1 in the week 2 also there will be the moderate to heavy rainfall activity will continue over the uh, you particularly over the over the east uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand west bengal sikkim and northeast india and over the kerala and south indian karnataka and coastal karnataka and moderate rainfall activity will continue over the parts of south peninsular india and parts of the east india and light to moderate rainfall activity over the remaining parts of the country except the parts of jammu and kashmir west rajasthan and northern parts of gujarat state and andaman and nicobar islands where the only light rainfall activity is likely in the week 2 this is the forecast uh, for the week 1 and week 2 of the rainfall anomaly so in the left hand side picture we can see the rainfall anomaly forecast for the week 1 so as we can see the, the rainfall activity will be above normal over the rajasthan south punjab south haryana southern parts of uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand parts of northeast india and parts of tamil nadu and rainfall uh, will be mainly deficient or subdued rainfall activity will continue all along the west coast 
and parts of uh, interior maharashtra parts of the uh, vidarbha parts of telangana parts of south chhattisgarh and northern parts of the odisha and parts of jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand also and arunachal pradesh and in the remaining parts of the country the rainfall activity will be normal and in the right hand side picture this is the rainfall anomaly forecast for the week 2 so in the week 2 the rainfall activity will be above normal over the east uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand west bengal sikkim and meghalaya and tripura and in the south Penis peninsular india the rainfall activity will be above normal mainly over the south into the karnataka parts of kerala and parts of tamil nadu and rainfall activity will be again subdued in the week 2 also all along the west coast over the gujarat state over the madhya pradesh over the south east rajasthan over chhattisgarh odisha and coastal andhra pradesh and in the uh, himachal pradesh and parts, parts of uttarakhand and arunachal pradesh and in the remaining parts of the country the rainfall activity will be normal so if you look into the rainfall forecast for the week 2 so there will be the moderate to heavy rainfall activity will continue over the parts of north and northeast india and moderate rainfall activity will continue over the parts of east india all along the west coast and light to moderate rainfall activity will be over the remaining parts of the country and rainfall activity will be above normal over the east uttar pradesh bihar west bengal sikkim jharkhand arunachal pradesh meghalaya tripura south interior karnataka kerala tamil nadu puducherry and karaikal and in the week 2 rainfall activity will be below normal mainly over the parts of central india parts of east india all along the west coast gujarat state southwest rajasthan and in the remaining parts of the country the rainfall activity will be normal in the week 2 you can download the mosam app for the location specific forecast and warning you can download the damini app for the lightning alert in your area you can also download the medbooth app for the for the agro advisory services and you can follow us on our facebook page our twitter page and our youtube channel for more detailed weather information in your area thank you